So one per table. I'll also bring around hot spots and tablets for you. So don't worry about that. Um, two, once we get closer to time, maybe right after lunch, I'm gonna start pulling teams. We're gonna go in that little corner over there and you're going to do a kind of like a quick like dry run of your presentation so I can work with you before you stand up in front of judges. So, any questions before I let you go? It's about 10 o'clock, it's, it's almost 10. So you're gonna have about two solid hours at least of hard work ahead of you. So we're gonna come around and hand you some tablets. They want to be empowered because they see all of this TV and they're just like, I wanna be that person. I wanna be able to do what I want to do. And how do you engage them at that level? while still educating them. Project-based learning like, is something that's, you know, buzzword in education now is get you engaged, get you in the content as opposed to have somebody like passively talking at you on PowerPoint all the time. Yeah. We want the kids to understand that this, what they're doing now, will help them in the future. We have students come in for two to three days and understand how to design apps and a bit of coding on how to prototype that app. But the focus of that thing is to design an app from the beginning. So why do you want to build this app? The why behind their problems. So the theme for this year, and Hillary can speak about that, is 2016, the theme is health and fitness. Health and fitness and youth is such an important thing because a, we sponsor the marathon, so health is important to us anyway. And B, there's kind of an epidemic in children of obesity. Whether it's because they're sedentary, they're too busy with homework, or they're playing video games. We wanted to bring it back to them and put kids in the mindset of how would you encourage your peers to be more healthy or encourage yourself to be more healthy. They're, they can empathize with their product so they can build a better design, which is all part of the design process. They need to understand what they build before they build it. So, are you guys all volunteers? Yes. Yeah, we are all volunteers, volunteers. today. Uh, and um, how do, uh, do you think that um, uh, Go IT will help them in the future, choosing their career? Absolutely, I think that's the idea. I think it's to stimulate the process, is to give them tools, to give them uh, channels of opportunity. It is also uh, enabling them to build some credentials. Uh, let's say the kids are starting today and they are building and experimenting with different apps or different uh, other technology initiatives. So that's gonna uh, help them build their credentials. And I think along with the app, it's the stimulation of the thought process which is allowing you to think differently, which is allowing you to think uh, from the customer's perspective and empathize. It is a chance that TCS gives, bring the people united and let's give them a chance to bring their own ideas and give some technical advisors to how to develop that. So they can take it up for the future also. So they will just utilize this opportunity and it will give them a better opportunity to develop very beautiful apps going forward. Yesterday they came in, they understood a bit about coding, a bit about why design is important and why you should first start with the problem rather than the technology. So you can't just come in and code something. No, you need to understand a problem and then be like, well, this is our problem. These are the technological solutions to our problem. And now, as you can see right now, they're designing those apps and how the app flows. Working in technology doesn't necessarily mean you're a coder. So we have our business analysts, which is where the business model canvas comes in because we want them to build a business around their idea. There's design because you need to design something. And then there's the actual coding. So all three are really important. And students will learn what they're really good at as this process goes on. Some will really take the reins and be like, I want to build the thing, I want to code the thing. Some people like drawing and art. So a lot of different skills can be utilized in technology, which is something else that's really special about this program because we want to teach them that it's not just the hard coding that goes into this process and that multiple skills can be attributed to this growing. Social networking to promote fitness and motivate teens and adults to become healthy. When they present, we want them to think about, you know, not just how to hook the, uh, the judges and listen to you, but also the ask. You know, what are you asking from them? What, 
you know, what is your app? How is, how is your app going to function? And in a lot of schools that we go to, they don't understand that they're not just the consumers, that they could be the producers. So we really want to empower students to know that no matter what age, with the skills that we're starting to help them create here, that they can be the producers too. They're just as capable as anybody else. And like you said, it's free, we're here, you just have to be able to think through the right methods. And it's for everybody, it's not just for the, the geniuses. Yeah, and that's, and that's the focus. It's to teach them methods that will help them throughout their life, not just in computer science, but in any field.